Oh, now what's happening with y'all like to check this out? Mm -mm -mm. Here we go again. If it ain't one thing, it's another. They trying to turn this bitch into the wild, wild west. If you live in Louisiana, you might want to pay attention to your new laws that's being presented. Right now, an 18 year old can purchase a concealed hand weapon. I'm going to say that again. An 18 year old can purchase a concealed hand weapon at the age of 18. Now, they know out of all this shit that's going on around this country, schools, Six Flags, uh, 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 what is it? NFL parades, house parties, clubs that these youngsters out there, you know what I'm saying, doing. You're gonna pass bills like that. And everybody know the Louisiana, Louisiana prison system ain't about shit and they try to get free labor and they work you like slaves and them. So in this round, here's Charles Big Angry Adams. You know, I didn't really get the math of that video. They are expanding individual liberties and the man was saying that the expansion was designed to ensnare more black citizens to work in the horrifying prison system of Louisiana. Uh, it does sound like to me that instead, Louisiana has made a decision that if you are old enough to go to war, if you are old enough to vote, then you should be old enough and responsible enough to carry a firearm. And I don't know if I agree with that math, right? Like I became a policeman at 21 and I think, or a police person now might be the appropriate term, I think that you should probably have to be 25 right? Uh, because I think you would be more mature. But it's not enshrined in the Constitution, the liberty to be a police officer. It is enshrined the liberty to own a firearm. And I think that many Republicans probably supported this. And they might be shocked to realize that there will be a, a Louisiana, I used to live there, huge African American population and incredibly oppressed African American population for, for historically. And I think you're going to see a lot of people carrying firearms that were not expected by the drafters of the bill. But I celebrate freedom. I celebrate their rights to bear arms. And I hope that this will lead to a safer Louisiana, much like access to gun, lawful gun ownership has led to America being safer in the portions that allow it versus the cities that don't. You know, I would say, Charles, that this law that they have passed is insane or attempting to pass or bring it into an existence and let 18 year olds carry it's, guns. It's, it's, it's there. Charles, it's frightening. It's frightening. Why? Yes, kids can, yes, young men and women can go off toward 18, but yet they're put through boot camp and they go through extensive training in boot camp and extensive training in using firearms. And when they have those firearms, they have sergeants, lieutenants, they have squad leaders, they have captains. So you're surrounded by experienced men and women who supervise you with those weapons. To give 18 year olds the right to carry concealed handguns openly like that with no extensive training, not even passing a psychological examination, not even passing a drug test, but you can just buy a gun like that, a concealed gun and walk around with it. Charles, I believe that everybody who buys a gun should be required to do two things. Pass a psychological examination and pass a drug test, Charles. But now we're going to give 18-year-old kids. And 18-year-olds today are not the same 18-year-olds 10 years ago, 20 years ago, Charles. These 18-year-olds today are crazy as hell. Some of them don't know the behind from a damn hole in the ground, Charles. And we're going to get them a gun and say, now walk around society and protect yourself? Well, oh, uh, no. You get some things. Well, first of all, it's, it, they're not allowed to carry it openly. They're required to carry it concealed. But it is already illegal if you're, as we see with the prosecution of the president's son, it is already illegal to purchase a firearm if you're a user of uh, illegal narcotics. And if you're in the Eighteen year olds don't know and, that. And if you're in the presence of narcotics, when you have the firearm, oftentimes that makes it a unlawful carrying of a weapon. It does here in Texas. So you have this paradigm where the, there are checks and balances, right? Should there be more? Should there be red flag laws? Should there be mandatory testing, mandatory classes? Well, there are some people that argue that would infringe on the Second Amendment, and there were some people For that argue year old kids. that makes damn sense. But what age? What's We've the raised cutoff? children. What's the cutoff? We've age? raised children. What is the age? I wouldn't dare advocate anything what like that. What is the age that you I think believe they the should youngest, be allowed? I believe the youngest they should be allowed to, to purchase a weapon and conceal carry that weapon in any state should be at least 21. Okay, what? And also, I do believe this, they should still be required to take a psychological examination and pass a drug test. So you don't believe in the Second Amendment? 
I and do. you don't believe that eighteen. So if you're old enough, I believe to in the right to, to bear arms. If you're old enough to go to prison for life at eighteen, why shouldn't you be old enough to drink a cold beer, smoke some weed? If you're old enough to go to war, why aren't you old enough to own a gun? And I broke that down for you. I know, but the I supervision in the military okay, is night and day compared to the free world. You're an adult. You can make a mistake and go to prison. You can take out two hundred thousand dollars worth Charles. of student loan debt. Charles, at eighteen, you you're not an gun. adult. Charles, so you've got to exist in this at place. At eighteen, you're, you're not an adult. You're in, legally, in, you're recognized by the system as an adult. Let's say but you and I both know war, eighteen year olds are not say adults. You're a good kid, just trying to go to college. You're walking, riding the bus every day in a war torn portion of New Orleans. Right, there are some portions of New Orleans that it's not safe to exist in, right? Oakland too. But but yeah, Oakland. San Francisco. There are plenty of kids, students of color, that are just they're just trying to get to work at, at you know, or leave work at two AM, leave their Taco Bell job where the lobby's closed. See, those are good home. kids. So, Those so are good how do you kids. decide? But everybody how can get a gun under this law. Well, not if you're a felon. All eight years get a gun under this law. Not if you get in trouble. Not Charles, if you're breaking the law. A lot of our we kids already have laws. that are creating so do problems you just do don't away? have police records at so 18, wanna, Charles. You want to do away with guns totally? No, Charles. I'm saying this. we got to strengthen who has access to these weapons. Okay. we got to put and who we got to put stricter guidelines in place the concept, to make the, sure we the, protect the, the children, the young adults, and the society. And building the paradigm that you proposed would systemically discriminated against young black Americans. Why do you period. say that? Because they would not have access to the psychological testing and the other no, things. The, the state is, makes that available to all who want to purchase a okay. firearm. Okay. The state makes it available to and, all who want you, to purchase the think, firearm. Do you think the Republicans in, in, in Louisiana would prioritize the list of kids in New Orleans trying to get the If it is a state exam. law, then everybody has access to it. Okay. Is, is that how it wor it's worked in America today? Oh, no, I've been trying to tell you that. Okay. Well, now it's it's the whites that are pushed to the back of the line. You don't like to what hear whites? that. What uh, whites? Whites get guns uh, all day, every day. Uh, no, I'm talking white about... White folks have gun shows all day, every hey, day. And white, white folks buy their kids what, guns what, at what, 9 and 10 years why old. Why don't you... We go, go, go Why don't you go apply to a university and see what part of the line you do if you don't... If you don't we click talking about buying guns, you. Charles. I got you. But we have all kinds of discrimination in this country, but the truth is that that discrimination will probably be felt most by black Americans unfairly, especially young black Americans. We have rights. We have individual rights. We have God-given rights. Black we have young black Americans at 18 and we don't need to be running around with concealed handguns. victimized by crime. I don't want to see and the young I brothers in my community black run Americans around with these handguns at 18 crime. years old. You want to abolish prisons and policing. Nope. I want to empower law-abiding black Americans to be I want prisons to be institutions be of real, period. real Rehabilitation. And I don't see they have taken out all I the rehabilitation programs out of prison. You see so when they come in bad, they leave even worse. Effort by the state of Louisiana to put black kids in, in prison when it actually is and an effort, in particular. It is actually an effort to empower all Americans that are adults in the state of Louisiana to be safer. By giving them concealed Why not? carry you, handgun permits, You can go to Charles. war, you can take student loan debt, you can go to prison with for no, life. With no Why stipulations. Why can't you protect yourself? With no stipulations. What are you talking about no stipulations? No guidelines. There are stipulations about how you can use a Charles. gun, who can own a gun. With no training they required. Exist. No training required. We don't train anybody. Well, right, tell so we, black are, folks, we gonna, are we going to do away with the Second Amendment? Don't you take them guns let, and let, ride around white neighborhoods. Let poor black Americans, brothers and sisters in, war -torn in Louisiana, in New Orleans, don't let them guns go to white neighborhoods. There'll be justifiable homicide by the police. Why are you always racializing Because you know everything. what's the truth. Now, the truth is. You can take them guns and kill each other in the hood. Right. But don't go more white folks.